I want to talk more stand up. Um, I've been doing something new recently. What's that? On stage, I've I've been slowing down. Okay. I've been slowing down a lot more on stage, and like I used to go up with like. I used to go up with like all my jokes that I like. I'd, I'd write like ten jokes on a little piece of paper, and I'd seriously, go, yeah, and I'd go up there, and I'd like pick them like live in the moment. Oh, so you'd have like a like a spread that you could choose from. That's right. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I didn't like to have like oh, I'm doing these four jokes. I used to do that, but then I was I had that because those were the only jokes I had. Mm-hmm. So, but now I've have like a good amount of jokes. So I was like, okay, I need to do this one for sure. Cause I'm, I need to work this one out. Here's a new idea. Here's an old one. Maybe I, I can, if, if I, if the moment's right, I can whip it out, you know? Um, but so that's been, that was really, uh, good for me. Cause that like played onto like the whole live aspect. I'm like, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be four or five of these fucking 10 mm-hmm. jokes here. But what I've been doing is, is I've been, I still have like the 10 jokes, but I, I've only been doing like three and like, it's just like slowing down. Because I used to go up there and just be like, uh, <laughs> joke uh, next, <laughs> 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 joke next, yeah, next. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like, I noticed I would fucking just fill every second of silence with a noise. Mm-hmm. Just like, I would not allow there to be any silence. And But, I, but I've had a lot of fun playing with like, it being quiet. And being okay with it being quiet. And doing a joke and kind of like really doing it. And if it's not going well, I'm like, I'm fine with it. And then if a joke doesn't go well, not going like, okay, uh, um, ha, ah, well, that didn't work. Ah, okay, what else I got? Just, you know, just, yeah, trying to get that next laugh yeah. so you can fucking relax yeah. for a second. Just like yeah. if it doesn't work, I like, I'll, I've just been going like, all right. all right, okay. And like, and then I'll just look at my notes and I'll be like, in my head, I'm like, okay, I'll do that one. Mm hmm. And then just starting it, like just really fucking slowing down. And what I've noticed is, is when I slow down, everyone pays attention more. That's what I've noticed. Yeah. Well, it's because you're, you're, you're presenting like less there, there, there's more for the audience to kind of grab onto. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I've seen you been doing it. Yeah. And it's been, it's it's, working too. It's been working and it's been fun. And I've, I've also been like more present for it because um there's like a lot more writing on it writing on it you know Mm -hmm. i feel like there's more pressure because i'm i'm up there with less you know ammo or whatever so it's really got to count it really has to count so like and and then i've also noticed that like i'll say things uh more like directly like i'll i'll really like say it like I mean it and not just like say something to fucking get to the next sentence you know and um you're doing your jokes more deliberately that's right they have more they all have like more fucking heightened purpose now and uh it's been fun because I noticed so many people would go up there and do like like six jokes in like in five minutes Mm -hmm. and everyone has different like you know a six jokes to me that's twenty minutes because my jokes. Are that's your. That's me. your special. Yeah, dude. That's, my that, jokes that's are so your long. hour, dude. Yeah, I, each one of my jokes are like a minute and a half. Some like times two minutes. I have. I write long jokes, which is infinity in in five minute spot time. Yeah, yeah. Like at, like, at an open mic, that's yeah. like that's forever. It is. And other people have like one liners or like three liners or something like that. Mm. So you know, so, some people we know can go up there and do twelve jokes, but it doesn't seem you know it's like normal. But uh, yeah, I, I think that'd be my my viewer comedy tip this week. Oh God! Is if you want to, if you're doing stand up, <laughs> um, fucking relax, S- like slow down, and and just fucking be more present. That's what that'd be my advice. Yeah, it's a pretty solid piece of advice. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been working for you. Mm-hmm. Also, I, 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 you made me think of something else that we noticed pretty early on um that kind of we both had to make the same pivot from which was like if a guy goes on before you and is doing really well but he's like the high energy like hey yeah over here over here like like yelling doing a lot of high energy bits 
you, like the worst thing you can do is try to like follow that immediately because mm. I'm like I know or you're match the, him. Yeah, I know this. You're the same way. I'm not like I'm not that guy. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna go up like whoa, hey guys. Like I don't have that energy. I'm gonna. So the best thing that that you can do that that we like I said, kind of had to figure out early on is kind of just go up there and like reset expectations. Just be like, all right, mm -hmm. okay. And just go in like with your own style. Like you don't have to match who went on before you. Yeah. You just gotta like, like let the audience know kind of what they're in for, for the next five, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then no matter like how you do, they'll at least be on your side. Yeah. Whereas like, if you go in and try to match that, no matter if you're doing your best material, you're going to do it poorly. Cause it's not the way that you did, you know, do it or write it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I, for a little bit there, I was like, I need to be like high energy guy, Whoa, but I, I'm not high energy guy. Not, dude, not at all. I'm like, I'm slow, kind of fucking need you guys all to get on board here, guy. Also, uh, last night, the, uh, the the guy that went on in front of me, he closed with, a, uh, he was he did like a, like a throwaway bit like about abortion for like the last two minutes or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was sitting in the chair and I was like, dude, from like a year ago, I had this abortion bit that I, I hadn't done in six months mm -hmm. just because I was like, I'd written it, I'd done it, it's, I'd gotten it. It was on the shelf. Exactly, it was on the shelf. And he was doing this abortion thing and, and like I was sitting there like like listening to myself being called up on the stage. I was like, oh, I got this. Yeah. I, I got something that'll slide right That's in there. That's the best feeling. And it was the perfect transition too. Yeah. And it was like, I didn't have to think about it. It wasn't on the paper. I was just like, mm -hmm. slid it right in there. It was like a cheat code, dude. That's the perfect and feeling because you get your first, that's, you, get a, you get a joke out, but it's also... Like that's your first. You get that fucking first like laugh out. Also, it was a it was a it was like a, a good shelf joke that I knew by heart that got like that first pop. So it's like yeah. as soon as you get that first laugh, you know you can kind of get them on your side. Yeah. And then I did like some new stuff that was like questionable, whatever. <laughs> Didn't go as well, like probably as well as I I, I wanted. But anyway, it's like getting them on the, on your side initially, just from like something that you had in the back of your head from six months ago. Yeah. That was, that was a really cool like tool to pull out. I, I had like the chance to do that in a long time. Yeah. And it was neat. That was good. Yeah. That first impression is uh, everything, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And well, that's tough, man. That's tough. Cause sometimes you don't have it. Like sometimes like last night when I grabbed the wine glass, that was a fucking hail Mary. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't, have I wasn't I didn't have like a what am I gonna say right when I get on stage and luckily I did that and it worked but yeah that first impression is is super important that first joke is so crucial and I didn't I didn't like understand that or like kind of wrap my head around it until like like like, like a, a couple of months ago it's been really yeah. recent yeah because i like i said this on an earlier podcast but like I've, I've changed the way that i structure like my sets mm -hmm. i used to uh i used to like start with like all new stuff and then like towards the end i do like two hard hitter like established bits um and now i do it totally like almost the opposite way like i'll open with something that i know works i'll sandwich like a couple of new things in the middle and then i'll close with like you know bits that I'm working on that are eventually going to be like shelf bits mm -hmm. but it's so important to get like that first that first pop yeah like how many times have you seen a comic like you know go up at an open mic or like at a show or whatever and like their first joke just falls flat you kind of like you, you feel it in your stomach You're I've, like, I've been that person <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean yeah exactly but like you you feel it was like ah, they're not really on board but if like if 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 they can give you the benefit of the doubt on that first joke and yeah. like the, 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 the audience will give you a lot more slack if like you win them over on that first like pop yeah there's something about that first joke like it needs to land that's why that's why like kind of room banter crowd work room banter whatever you want to call it is super important like um or like you know, addressing something that the earlier comic that's right said. you yeah. walk up on stage and you're like how's it going everybody and, and then you know you you know at, at, like i guess at, at least at open mics you know it's like oh you were talking about you know t uh, tires yeah i had this one time this thing happened with a the tire mm -hmm. and then everyone's like ah ha and then you're like and then you do your fucking jokes yeah, yeah. it kind of kind of smooths the the, tran the transition down yeah and i noticed something towards uh towards like right before you went on because it was kind of like later in the night yeah um i went on so late at a two-hour mic by the way yeah yeah you went you went on super late and it was something i hadn't kind of like noticed in a while uh but it was like a it was like trying to deal with a dead crowd mm -hmm. because after like after the first like hour and a half you kind of everyone like mentally fucking left and and there were still like two comics before you went on yeah 
And uh, it was it was kind of interesting watching uh, each comic kind of go up and try to navigate that because mm-hmm. it's like how do you squeeze like that last drop of like like funny out of a crowd that's just like fucking spent They're out just, of a, like, out of a crowd who's fucking tired yeah. they've already gone up if they have, you know or you know or they haven't mm-hmm. and they're all comedians they're not like they're 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 only there to get up and fucking leave yeah and so and they're, yeah then they're comedians they're too close to like comedy. They don't care. They just kind of want to get up and leave. Yeah. I don't know. That was just... It's kind of odd. Yeah. I don't deal with that for... Uh, I mean, I didn't personally deal with it, but I didn't like seeing that in a while. Because yeah. you know, most mics are like 45 minutes, mm-hmm. an hour at most. Which I stand by that. Uh, like any any mic that like you sign up for, you know, name and a hat, anything, and 60 minutes tops. Yeah. If there's more people, if more people come, tell them, I'm sorry, we're full. Mm-hmm. That's... Not everybody has to get up. Nothing's funny for fucking two hours. Nothing's funny for two hours. Especially not open micers. Open micers are not funny for two hours. No. Yeah, that was tough. I was, dude, I mean, I was sitting in the crowd fidgeting. You know, like, I was, like, fucking, fi- you know, fucking fidgeting. Because mm-hmm. I, I knew, I was like, dude, I'm, I'm tired. I know the crowd's tired. I can't go up with tired energy or no. it's going to be double worse. Yep. And like I, I was sitting there like knowing I was like, oh, I'm about to bomb. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh hold on, you were thinking that? You're, oh yeah. You're sitting there like, oh no, this is gonna go poorly. Yeah. I, I was thinking, oh no, a bomb is coming. For context, the I, I went on like five comics and I, I, I honestly, I had like luck of the draw. I had like prime real yeah. estate there. I had an awesome draw. And then Elise went on like three after you. Yeah, which was also good. perfect. Still and, within an hour. And then ten comics happened, and yeah. then Ryan went up. Fuck, dude, and I was. So That's tough. a rough spot. Everyone and dude, and to do that, to do as well as you did in that spot, that's saying something, man. Yeah, yeah. The host said he, I, after we were, we were walking out, and I was looking for a trash can in the back, and the host, the guy, we've seen him a few times, mm-hmm. and he said he said he came up to me and he said, "Yo, that was really good. That was the best of I've ever seen you do." And he's only seen me like a handful of times, mm-hmm. but he, I'm 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 glad he said that because I don't know him or anything, but you know he's like a ha ha's guy, and he was in. Also, yeah, but, that means something because he he does that like every fucking yeah he, he does fucking for two hours every fucking yeah, night he sees fucking every sh- fucking night it's two hours yeah. of open mic shit so, open so, mic so for him to be like hey that was pretty that good. felt good yeah it, it felt should good. it's well deserved yeah it was and that's important to do man that's important to do I make sure if I see someone do really good or like they have a bit that I think is like smart and funny like it's super important to to. If they're doing it, if if it's like if they're on stage doing it, give them like the mm-hmm. the flowers, you know. But then even more so afterwards, being like, "Hey, that was good," or like, "Hey, I've never seen you before," you know. And then list off a couple mics. Hey, well, we're here on Thursdays. You should come out, buy this mic. You know, you're funny. I do, dude. I do that to uh, uh, to like anyone I can. Like if it's their first time, specifically like at Wednesday, Thursday night Badger and Jam. Yeah. I, I tell them all the time that, that like that they all say the same thing. They're like, "Oh, dude, this mic's so like great. You guys seem like so tight knit. This is like kind of like inside baseball. Yeah. It's like this is a cool vibe." All the time, I'm like, dude, literally every week. Yeah, swing by. Yep. And then, you know, if if come it's, on through. If it's their first time, I'm like, we're going to the store. Yeah, we're going to the comedy store. Yeah, come with us. Come on. We're getting a beer. We're gonna sneak in and get kicked out again. That's what's happening. We haven't, oh, we haven't had to sneak in in a while. No, we haven't. Getting let in by Guam was cool as hell, though, because yeah. it was it was super busy, and he was just like, "No, nah, you guys are fine." Yeah, I felt very VIP. That dude. was the coolest. I felt, that's the closest I'll feel to like a rock star I of know. all time. Fucking us, walk. we go to the store, the comedy store, every, every week. Wednesday night. Yeah, at the same exact time. It's like it's like ten fifteen, and it's the same door guys working. And they're wanding everybody with like like the security thing, mm-hmm. and then like it was it was cool to just kind of roll up, and they're, they're like, all right, you guys, you guys, you guys, mm, go ahead. They're fine. They're they're comics. It, we're, it's like the same group of like six, seven people both, yeah. uh, every week, but they're it they're they're fine. They're comics. Yeah. That's the coolest fucking thing ever. That's very cool. And then we go to the bartender that like knows us too. He's like P- PBR, yeah, <laughs> tall PBR. Come on, come on. 